You might have never heard of it, but there is a concept of cubes in Excel which will help you make your report more flexible. And the beauty of it is that you don't need to know much about cubes to make it happen. So let me show you an example of how to use them. Basically here I have a power pivot that comes from a data model and I have the states. So at the bottom I have the sum which is 59 states. So let's assume that here I want to say total states and I want to have this 59. So obviously I could do equal and I just reference this cell. So in case the data changes, it will still give me the number. And that's great. But the problem lies is that here I have to keep this count of state and it's annoying. What if I don't want the count of state? I just want the sales and I want to remove this, but I want it here. You'll see I'll get a ref error. So what to do in this case? Let me show you how to work with cubes. So first thing what we're going to do is copy paste this pivot table. We're just going to put it here. We're just going to remove this and put back in this new pivot. We're going to put back the state and we can remove this sum. So you have it here. What we want to do also is remove these abbreviations because we don't need it. And we have this 59 states. So what I will do now is transform this to formulas. So I'm just going to select this pivot table analyze, all up tools, convert to formulas. Now you can see I have formulas for those two cells, right? So if you see this 59, I have here a reference to cell D3. So if I delete D3, I'm going to lose the 59. So what is the solution? Basically, you can just copy this cube member, Control C, escape. Then you go instead of D3, you can just paste it, enter, and then you can delete it safely. You will still have the number. Now cubes, what they do is every time you change something in your data model or you add data, it will automatically recalculate and you'll have the number there. If you know a little bit more about cubes, you can simplify this by just removing all this and just keeping this measure count of state. We have one extra parenthesis, so we're going to remove it. Enter. We still have it. We can put this back and we can combine it with any formula. For example, total states. And then we can put double quotation before and after. Here we're going to do a space and we put the and sign and then you get it into one cell. So this is a small example on how to use cubes to make your reporting more efficient and flexible. Please let me know in the comment section what are the other scenarios you would face that requires the use of cubes. And don't forget, as usual, to like and subscribe to the channel.